Standard human color vision is already incredible. In a digital context, normal trichromacy allows us to distinguish 16 million colors. Among them, there's a circle of at least 1536 distinct hues. Visualizing this great amount of colors produces the RGB color cube, a three-dimensional structure that contains every normal trichromatic color. Of course, in real life, outside of the screen, more colors can be seen. But they are mostly just variations of these screen colors, since a high-end RGB screen can fool most people into believing they can see every color on it that they can also see in real life. But what if humans had a different kind of trichromacy? How would color vision change? To answer these questions, we first need to understand how color vision works. A normal trichromat's eye has three distinct cone types that together generate color vision. They span a range of 300 nanometers, roughly starting at 400 nanometers in the shorter wavelengths and ending at 700 nanometers in the longer wavelengths. If light is bright enough, we can see further into either end of the electromagnetic spectrum, but this generally is a normal trichromat's limit, especially concerning hue differentiation. The three cone types, the S, M and L cones, are named after the main wavelength ranges of light they detect – short, medium and long wavelengths. The visualization you see here is a simplification, but it's close enough to reality that we can use it to understand color vision. The cone curve you can see for each cone type is its normalized response spectrum to monochromatic spectral stimuli. Every cone type introduces a unique color quality, a line of colors going from its vivid color quality to its absence. Combining these three color lines, each pointing into a new color dimension and generating the intermediate color combinations, results in the notorious trichromatic 3D color space. Every color you can see can be directly understood as the three-dimensional combination of these cones' color qualities in relation to the overlap and distinctiveness of their cone curves, as well as the physical wavelength combinations of light. Normally, you'd be stuck with your personal color vision. Throughout most of human history, we could only imagine what other animals with different color visions might see. On top of that, imagining a new color is practically impossible. However, nowadays humans have a unique advantage that technology grants us. We can design technology to alter our color vision to diverge from the norm. We can figuratively see through the eyes of another. In the following, I'll show you three vastly different color vision types that are all still trichromatic by definition, though not normal. They span across different nanometer ranges and use different cone curves for their three cone types. All of this by just shifting, expanding and contracting these three cone curves. This exercise will demonstrate how malleable and subjective color vision really is and that normal human trichromacy is only one of many possible trichromacies. We are going to use my recently released application Custom Color Vision to alter our color vision in real time. It uses customizable color spectra, essentially simple images, that adjust all digital colors by altering the color quality of trichromatic hues and their related colors. This makes Custom Color Vision very simple to use and your color vision extremely modifiable and customizable. And you only need a simple image to share your personally customized color vision with other people. In combination with the accompanying free online color texture designer application, custom color vision becomes a powerful tool to customize and augment your own color vision. For the first modified trichromacy, we contract both the S and M cone curves and shift the M cone closer to the S cone curve. This change results in a color vision where reds and greens are more difficult to tell apart, but blue to cyan hues become a lot more distinct. You are able to see incredible color details in anything colored in cobalt, lapis and blue at the expense of color discriminability in the red-green range. A bluish sky, for example, can transform from a seemingly small amount of colors to containing visible color bands. Sunsets and sunrises become a beautiful display of these looming color bands. Normally green foliage will look vermilion and orange, almost like constantly being stuck in autumn. Likewise, red and yellow flowers become difficult to tell apart. Everything that's not blue will become more monotone, while still having color. 
Overall, reds, yellows and greens become more similar, but you can mostly still tell them apart. Underwater sea life, where everything tends to become more bluish, now looks a lot more colorful. You can tell colors apart from a distance where you couldn't distinguish them in normal trichromacy. Looking at a clear lake allows you to see further into the water, almost as if it was clearer. The seaweed here in Minecraft, for example, becomes discernible from a much greater distance than before. It's almost impossible to miss it, even in murkier and deeper parts of the water. Bluish paintings become breathtaking, boasting of color details you've never noticed before. As an example, the famous painting Starry Night turns from a relatively dichromatic painting with lots of yellows and blues to a multicolored one, where you can see incredible color details in the sky and the depicted town. Although it's the same image, seen with this modified trichromacy, it transforms into something new and mesmerizing. By the same token, the cobalt blue hues of any image will turn into a beautiful display of color, with details you've never noticed before. Anything that's dominated by cobalt and blue will look incredibly colorful to people who have this differing trichromacy, while looking relatively bland to those with normal trichromacy. Now, for the second modified trichromacy, we contract all cone curves and shift them closer to each other and towards long wavelengths. This change results in a color vision where magenta, blue, cyan, green and lime hues become black and practically invisible. Instead, you're able to see incredible color details in anything colored in red, vermilion, orange, amber and yellow. You can think of this as a tiny trichromacy, just for the long wavelengths of light that are mostly perceived as reddish in normal trichromacy. Any painting that looked red monochromatic before now bursts in trichromatic colors. You can see details in seemingly red-only paintings that a normal trichromat would never notice. Sometimes the art becomes unrecognizably detailed from before due to the sheer amount of additional colors. Color bands and low bitrates now become more visible because you can better differentiate the pixel's colors. Human skin, since it contains a lot of reddish colors, becomes very colorful. Although colors might look a bit off, you are able to better tell apart lips, cheeks, blushing and general redness of the skin just by hue. Skin becomes multicolored with way more variety than before. Someone with this color vision will easily see the color changes of another one's face. Back in Minecraft, there's still a lot of color since this is still a trichromacy, but most things that had color before are now blackish and grayish. In return, the select few things that are still colored will display incredible color details that you would never have noticed before. Anything that was red, orange and yellow before, like certain flowers or bricks and similarly colored blocks, will become the focus of this color vision. Any environment that just looked red and maybe a bit orange before, now becomes truly colorful. It's a bit difficult to find the right color landscapes where this tiny trichromacy stands out, but once you do find them, it'll be unlike anything you've seen before. Lastly, for the third modified trichromacy, we keep the contracted cone curves from before, but we give each cone type four peaks instead of just one, spectrally arranging the peaks consecutively in alternation across the visible spectrum. Although it doesn't look like it, this change still results in a trichromacy. That's because there's fundamentally still just three distinct cone types present. Although this kind of color vision introduces a lot of metamers, colors that look alike but are actually spectrally distinct, you will nonetheless have a supervision when it comes to spotting color details. You might not always name colors correctly, at least compared to normal trichromacy, but this inconvenience is compensated by a four times greater color discriminability which transforms your color vision into a spectacle of colors. The following examples will be in a digital color context. Real-life colors, though generally similar, would be even more complex with this kind of color vision. Everything, and I mean literally everything, will have more colors and reveal more details. Many landscapes will become almost unrecognizable from before due to the increased color differences. Taking Minecraft as an example again, greenish foliage now displays hidden details, like fruits that are normally hidden in the leaves. 
You would never anticipate that there are actually fruits or berries hidden in these leaves, but with this supervision you can easily spot these small but significant details. Biome transitions are now like stepping from one world into another, because color changes so drastically. You can really see the color transitions where you normally might not even have been able to tell that there's a biome change. Even if two biomes only have subtly different hues in normal trichromacy, with this modified trichromacy their colors become very different. Other biomes, like the warped forest, become unrecognizable from before. The amount of color details you can see now is almost too much. Although once you're used to this supervision, this multitude of colors will harmoniously work together to create an alien, yet strangely familiar, color landscape. You could search for minutes and always find new color details that you would have never noticed before. Funnily enough, doing a colorblind test with this supervision becomes comically easy. Not only are the numbers more easily discernible, but you can even see that the dots these numbers are made of are multicolored themselves. These normally simple color dot plates transform into little artworks of color. You might even start to fail a colorblind test just because you were so focused on the large number of dot colors that you didn't check what number was displayed before it disappeared. And, similar to the previous two modified trichromacies, but now a lot more extreme, artworks explode in color differences that you would never have noticed before. You can literally see art, and really anything on your screen, in new eyes and colors. Of course, the quality of such a digitally altered and enhanced color vision is determined by the quality of the images that you are looking at. A higher bitrate and resolution will naturally be more advantageous. These three custom color vision examples are only a tiny selection of the amazing color visions that an active community can design, share and explore with the custom color vision application. An incredible tool that allows complete personalization and customization of your digital color vision. The amount of unique color spectra you can create with this app by far exceeds the amount of atoms in the observable universe. So it's safe to say that you'll always be able to discover something new. With enough creativity, you can design normally unthinkable and unbelievable color visions, literally reinventing human color vision in the process. If you are interested in custom color vision, want to try it out for yourself and customize your color vision, it's now available on itch.io under the same name. Currently, the most effective way to support me as a creator, apart from subscribing, liking and watching my videos, is by purchasing and utilizing custom color vision. Not only does this directly support my work, but it also provides you with a valuable product in return. I am Wu Kuai and I will show you how to reshape and enhance your sensory experiences because it is nothing but our senses that connect us to this world. Have fun watching and learning all these new colors. Thanks for watching.
Thank <laughs> you.